wanted to get your take on this whole phenomenon that we're seeing with GameStop, uh, the short squeezes. Um, we're seeing the Reddit crowd kind of pivot into a different asset class here, it's silver today, as um, uh, GameStop's down over 20% uh, so far in the session. Um, what do you take uh, away from this as maybe an investor or a trader when you see things like this? Well, I think what we'll call the uh, proverbial smart money on Wall Street made the biggest investment fallacy there is in that if it's in the news, it's in the price. I think what they felt was that, you know, with all the bad things that are happening with these companies, all that bad news wasn't in the price. Uh, but unfortunately, what they found out is that, in fact, it was priced in. Um, they didn't stick to that to that fundamental uh, in thinking that uh, just because, you know, it was low priced already, it could go even lower. Uh, do you see it continuing, or it's going to take maybe a little bit longer than uh, than previous type bubble scenarios to unwind positions like this? Because this could be the start of GME starting to go back down to a fair valuation, which many have below 20 bucks a share. Well, I mean, there's really nothing here to support this price other than pure speculation. You know, you've got you've got these investors propping up the price, not based on the earnings of these companies, just based on you know hearsay and popularity. So. You know, it's not really surprising to see that these prices of, of these companies are starting to get back down to their normal trading levels. What do you start looking at as far as valuations go? Because if you look at forward-looking earnings, uh, it's pretty expensive on a historical level. Do you see earnings being that backstop that could uh, help support equity markets here? Well, I think you think in terms of broad equity markets, you know, there's not just one market out there. You know, there you think about everything that's done really well through the pandemic, you know, the big tech stocks, uh, you're starting to see a lot of money on the sidelines go into the market, into into a very small segment of the market. Things like IPOs, SPACs, uh, the aforementioned GameStop and and BlackBerry. Um, you know, there's a lot of other areas of the market that are still very undervalued. You know, there's a there's a, a scarcity of capital in those areas. Uh, these areas are not only are they paying great dividends, uh, but they're also relatively cheap. So you know, things like small caps. Uh, consumer discretionary, materials, energy, all these things really have a great opportunity to take off with an opening of our economy. So, you know, again, just to recap, you've got things that are cheap, they pay great dividends, and they're really going to benefit in the long run uh, from our economy getting open from, from the vaccines and people getting healthy and getting out there and spending money. The liquidity that's in the market right now, we're seeing it from the Reddit crowd, but we're seeing it from big money managers also, where there's such a stash of money on the sidelines just waiting to get pit, put to work. And we're seeing that buy the dip mentality continue uh, for equity markets. And you think that earnings and the amount of liquidity that not only the Fed, but that just out there, the general public is going to be able to support these equity uh, valuations. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's uh, but, you know, you got to remember, not everything's overvalued. You still have a lot of things out there that are undervalued. Uh, you know, we still haven't seen the travel sector really start to pop. Uh, restaurants haven't totally reopened yet. So there's just so many areas in the market that have have such upside potential. I think that's what we're going to see in the coming months again as the economy starts to reopen.